Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is just about 834, 835, somewhere in there. It is decently quiet for the time being. It does not appear to be anything major taking place across the Mid-South again as we get started for the evening hours. But as we go into tomorrow morning, we are going to be seeing the potential of maybe some more showers heading our direction, very light in nature, and also seeing again the potential of maybe again some more heavy weather coming our direction as we get into the course of the next couple of days. Again, it doesn't look like much right now, but we will be keeping our eyes on it for the time being. And as we go into the rest of the evening tonight, a few scattered showers here and there, but beyond that, really just not that much. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. More information about the forecast, again, available. Uh, check it out at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know a little bit more about what's going on there. And that's our main website for more weather information out and across much of the Mid-South area. And again, possibility of anything involving thunderstorms doesn't appear to be anything really huge at this point in time, but we do see that potential coming our direction as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a little while. In the meantime, again, much of what we're seeing for right now is just very light amounts of precipitation out there. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Again, much of what we're looking at for tonight, if I get my Facebook thing to actually do what it's supposed to be doing. That would help out quite a lot, but nothing really new, unfortunately, as that pops up and goes its own way. Time is 8.35. Again, we'll be taking a look, a special look coming up here in just a little bit, at weather where the troops are. It is Veterans Day, so nice to take a look and see what's going on out and around beyond our area of the country and points beyond. Here's what it looks like around the Mid-South. Some of our webcams out there, well, not our webcam specifically here. This is from the campus of University of Mississippi at Ole Miss. Again, a little bit of cloud cover going on. You can see a little bit of cloud cover going on just above the skyline right back out there above the lights of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium and fairly clear views across much of the Mid-South at least where it comes to fog and anything involving precipitation. Live view tonight from our tower cam in the News Channel 3 studio parking lot and again looking at Big River Crossing lit up and animated tonight in a nice salute to all the veterans out there. Nice oscillating lights and a beautiful evening for getting out for a stroll. A little bit on the chilly side this evening. We've got temperatures back in the 40s and lower 50s. We'll take a look at WeatherNet 3 temperatures coming up here in just a little bit, but a beautiful shot of, again, a great salute to the veterans of the Mid-South and everywhere beyond, so nice being able to see that. We put a time-lapse motion of this on our Instagram page not too long ago, so something to take a look at there if you want to take a look and see that one there. Take a look at traffic in and around South Haven, I-55 and Goodman Road. Traffic light and moving along pretty nicely. Baptist DeSoto camera looking off toward the area around Horn Lake off in the distance, but South Haven at this time right around I-55 and Goodman Road. Things are moving along well. Likewise, live view from East Memphis, I-240 at Poplar on the Hilton camera, looking back toward the I-240 and Poplar interchange and showing good visibility at this time here. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, here's what it looks like in a nutshell. Temperatures again in the lower 60s with scattered showers possible all the way through the day tomorrow, mid to upper 50s for Monday, and then back into the lower 60s again as we head into Tuesday. So we will see some uh, fairly cool conditions out there. A little bit cooler than normal, not bad, but also seeing those chances of rainfall coming back and hints of something else on the horizon. We'll talk about that, especially coming up into tomorrow morning. Storm Tracker 3S radar around the metro area. We're just not seeing much of anything in the way of rainfall at this time. Likewise, throughout the entire Mid-South, things are decently quiet and should be remaining that way until about midnight. Then we see the potential of some more rain showers heading our direction. We've already got cloud cover moving its way on through. That's the gray colors that you see on screen here. Rain chances, more light rain showers up around portions of the Midwest, and a little bit of some activity stretching all the way back into the front range of the Rockies and down toward the Gulf Coast. And some of this is going to be making its way into the Mid-South as we get into the course of overnight. But it's mainly going to be bright and early tomorrow morning, right about News Channel 3 daybreak, that we could be seeing some activity there. 45 degrees, high of 63, St. Agnes, St. Dominic in Memphis, City Hall in Germantown, our live real-time weather station there, 49 degrees, high today of 63, mid to upper 40s across much of the entire Mid-South area at this time, so we are seeing again some uh, fairly cool conditions out there, and 52 degrees right now after a high of 61. Official high temperature in Memphis today was 62 degrees, so we did 
did manage to make the lower 60s at least throughout parts of the area. Winds mainly moving in from out of the southeast as we get into later on tonight and continuing right on into tomorrow morning. The green areas that you see on screen, that's where we see the possibility of light rain showers making their way into the Mid-South as we go into overnight. And right about daybreak, News Channel 3, CBS Sunday morning, that's where we'll start to see more chances of these showers crossing the Mississippi River and heading into around the main part of the Mid-South area. Now by early tomorrow afternoon, that'll be our high temperatures of the day, mid to upper 60s across much of the area south of I-40, north of I-40, probably in the upper 50s to around the lower to mid 60s only. And then chances of rainfall start to slowly dwindle as we work our way out of the picture going into dinner time tomorrow, 50s and 60s for temperatures, and then 40s and 50s as we head into around midnight Monday morning. Scattered showers possible again across the area not seeing a lot of activity out there less of any activity on monday partly cloudy to mostly sunny monday into tuesday and some scattered showers not out of the question as we go into around wednesday afternoon and into around the rest of the forecast now through about thursday and friday that'll be the best chances of rainfall could be some lingering showers late on friday afternoon and evening hopefully that does not go over into around saturday but could see some activity there and then next weekend the last one by the time we head our way close to the Thanksgiving Day holiday, uh, the pre-travel areas, that also does not look entirely too terrible for us here in the Mid-South. But hang on a second, there is something to take a look at here. Some of the computer models are hinting at a new storm system coalescing and getting ready to move through the midsection of the country as we get into, guess what, right before the travel day comes up as we head into around Tuesday. So again, somewhere right after this forecast on this page, our forecast update here only goes out 10 days just beyond this as we look ahead into around the travel days ahead of Thanksgiving. Could be the potential of a storm system coming on through colder air and rain for us after this toward about next next Wednesday but then some parts of the area north of us could be looking at rain possibly mixed with snow and then maybe snow way to the north of us depending on how things go now keep in mind again as we've just indicated that this thing right here this is a 10-day forecast all of these numbers will change over the course of the next several days. So what you see here is not going to be carved in stone. They will fluctuate one way up or down. So definitely a time to make certain that you stay tuned to News Channel 3, especially for what we see coming in late by the time we hit mid next week. We'll have updates on that and more of an explanation coming our way as we get into News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning. Let's go ahead and take a look and see where whether where the troops are across much of the uh, United States and beyond. We try to focus on overseas here, Guantanamo. Guantanamo Bay in Cuba reporting 14 hundredths of an inch of rain today, a high of 87, current of 77, and winds out of the north at about 10 miles per hour. Uh, Iraq into around areas of just northwest of the Persian Gulf, pretty close to what we're experiencing here in the Mid-South. Mainly clear skies, a few clouds here and there, but otherwise not doing too bad. And we can at this time of the year easily get, pardon me for the scene shift here, let me get back to where we were for a second. Come on now. There we go. Thank you very much. Cranky iPads. Not, nothing you want to be messing around with. Uh, pretty close to what we see here in the Mid-South where it comes to temperatures out there. So again, pretty comparable out there for an area that can get triple digits for a better part of the spring, summer, and fall-like months. And no sandstorms going on, which can easily happen at this time of the year as well. Uh, early Sunday morning in Afghanistan, temperatures back to 42 with mostly cloudy skies in and around the area of Kabul. 39 degrees in the eastern part of the country around Faizabad. Kandahar at 47, mostly cloudy skies here, and 51 degrees in the northwest part of the country around Herat. So we are seeing some nicer conditions here. Likewise, we can get some pretty good winter weather uh, very easily into this part of the country for this time of the year, but things are pretty moderate there. Rest of the Persian Gulf, again, 81 degrees in Bahrain. Winds out of the northwest and mostly cloudy skies. Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, 61, 70 at Kuwait at the airport airport and 73 at Doha in Qatar looking at clear skies across much of those countries and heading into the DMZ Chunchan 43 degrees and mostly sunny skies 
early to mid late Sunday morning, early Sunday afternoon. Seoul at 45 degrees, Kunsan in the southwest at 47, Pusan in the southeast at 52, and Taegu at 48 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and likewise not much going on in this area. We do try to feature this when possible. Again, we know we have a lot of people in and around the Mid-South who have families who serve in the military, and we try to feature this when possible to show what's going on around the world at various locations. You can get this information easily right off the Internet. Uh, again, some people have accused us of aiding and abetting the enemy, whoever that may specifically be in their minds. This is worldwide free information that comes down to us from the World Meteorological Organization, and it's readily available for free to anybody out there. So if you'd like to know more about that, just head to our website, and we'll have more details about that in the links section very easily there. And again, thank you to all the veterans out there for serving and doing a great job of wearing the uniform. Keevan Smith, beautiful view Saturday morning from Keller Lake. Thank you very much for that picture. Also some nice pics this morning from Deborah J54 around Humboldt, Tennessee. A few clouds this morning in and around the area of Humboldt. Beautiful view there. Some silhouetted trees from Hernando in Mississippi from Oblina 3. Thank you very much for that one. And a nice view just a couple of hours ago from News Channel 3 viewer and frequent contributor Savcap123. Beautiful view looking west across the Mississippi River through the structure of the Hernando de Soto Bridge. So thank you very much for featuring that in there this evening. More information and more of our pictures, we try to feature them on News Channel 3 when possible. And also, again, you can catch up to date on what's going on with our uh conditions out there with weather pictures. All you have to do is just dial us up on Twitter especially. That's where you can donate them to and we'll feature them on air and online. Aonic underscore WRAG3 for more on that. Catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. That's at Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. We'll be on time tonight. Looks like everything's going off without a hitch for right now. Kristen Holloway will have more on tonight's news. Mike Sadie has a very busy day with sports, especially college football, and yours truly will have more with your complete forecast coming up tonight, and that'll be on at News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Many thanks for everybody for joining us on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, and Twitter, and more details to follow on your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, and bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak.